And there was me having a good day. Well, it's just become great. You're welcome. What's happening? Uh, I just got back from work an hour ago. Same. I've made myself some food. Same. And I've just got off the phone with my landlord. Oh, not same. Yeah, I missed a payment, but it's it's fine. I've paid it now and it, it's settled anyway. Mm. Anyway, mm. I've got some news. Okay. I joined a dating app. Have you? Well, I mean, they are inevitable. I was expecting more shit from you. Well, what, what's the saying? They have um, people in glass houses can't throw stones. No way, you too. Mm -hmm. Matches? Yes, a lot. Now a zero. But don't like apps, like help out new users with Misha, like, likes and- you're not helping. You know, they really try and help you get people to like you because you're new. Misha, I still have zero, even with whatever you just said. There's still zero. What about you? Hey, the grass isn't always greener. I've got like, 80 likes, but like once you filter out like the bad profiles and the nude pics and the meh ones, it's all just a bit quiet. Are your standards a little bit high? No! Anyway, I have a new initiative in the works. What's that, you're gonna kidnap someone? I've signed up for speed dating tonight. <laughs> okay, why are you telling me this? Because I'm bricking it and like, do you wanna have a drink before? Could you just say less? It'd be great if you just stopped speaking about 30 seconds ago. See you there. Bye. Bye. Because there's no substitute for meeting someone face to face. Like, you can see their physicality, feel their vibe. Yes, but what if there is no vibe? What do you do then? If you're online, you can log off, you can make it an excuse, you can just be gone. My internet connection was crap. Mm. What do you do here? Welcome everyone to Speed Dating. My name's Derek, I'm your host. We're gonna be beginning very shortly. So gentlemen, if you could make your way to your table numbers. You are so cynical. This is where you're gonna find that genuine connection you keep banging on about. Why are you <laughs> smiling at me like that? <gasps> Ni Why are you smiling at me like that? No, I'm not smiling, you're like everything. Misha? There is a small possibility I might have signed us both up. I'm not doing it. You are! No, I'm not! Yes, you are. Well, I'll just leave. Oh, come on. No. Look, at least it's going to be a good story. It is not going to be a good story. I'm just going to get humiliated. You've been preparing for this. I'm not, I'm not doing it. It's a great story. Oh, he's browsing. He's browsing the shop floor. How does it work? Sorry, what? <clears throat> Don't make me repeat myself. <laughs> Okay, so, the women stay at the table, the men, you, rotate around them. I'm a man now. So you go to different tables and you speak to girls. What do I say? Whatever you like, but you have five minutes, okay? Mm, okay. And halfway through the date, that dude over there will give us a warning. And then he'll also tell us when there's one minute left to wrap it up. So essentially, you've got to use your time wisely, which I know you're not good at. No, hence why I don't want to do it. Exactly. Uh, we're going to start with the gentleman by your first allotted table numbers. And good luck. Have fun. <laughs> um, you're sitting in my first date seat, so I need you to jog on. Go well, lad. <sighs> Cheers. Hey, you good? Yeah, I'm Misha. I'm Ty. You're not drinking? No. No, bikes and alcohol don't go together. True. Oh, <laughs> sorry, it's a pandemic hangover. You're an elbow bumper. I think this is the first time I've been around so many people again. I'm still getting used to The whole handshake thing. You'll get used to skin on skin contact again soon. What's important is that we're all out together. Well, kind of. What well, you don't want to be out with me? Well, we're both at this speed dating event, coincidentally. Together. Oh, so you're arguing with me? Would that be a problem if I was? Not at all. Bring it on. So, how do you spend your days, Ty? This and that. Just. Helmet. It's a bit of a 
appropriate. Go on, tell me. It's not gonna kill you. Unless you're part of some, like, mafia ring, in which case blink twice. I'm just not into the whole interrogation thing. You being serious? I am. Oh, shit, okay. Clear is kind. I actually studied interrogation. Oh, yeah? Yeah. The first thing you have to do is antagonise the client. I find it works better. particularly well on bouncers. Does it now? Mm, 100% success rate. I should come party with you. Do you party a lot? Clubbing, afters, all that? Most definitely. This is your halfway warning, guys. Three minutes to go. I know, it flies, doesn't it? So, what brought you speed dating? I tend to run in the same circles. Gets a bit old. Mm. So you've exhausted your circle of options. What do you think I am? But yeah, kind of. What do you think I am? Not sure. Still deciding. Would you say you're open-minded? Why? You can't just answer the question. Mm, I can answer. OK. Prove it. I would say I am. Cool. Now, are you going to tell me why you asked me that? I like to know where I stand with people. This world's always changing and it's important for us to stay open. It's hard to do that when you're grown. <laughs> are we grown? Getting there. Trying. Just don't like labels. If I want to do something that's out of excitement or curiosity, then so be it. Whether that's in my social life, my work life, my sex life. I see. I'm one of those people who wants to try everything once. Variety is the spice of life. I lost my parents when I was young. And, uh, you know, there's a lot there that I'm trying to make up for as an adult. I'm really sorry. No, no, it's fine. I was like, this big <laughs> when it happened, so. Just goes to show you, life, all of this is just so, so short and, um, and fragile. And we owe it to ourselves. You know, you, me, even that guy dressed as a daffodil over there. <laughs> to do everything we can to explore. Everything we can to find happiness and pleasure. How's that going for you and him? Well, pretty damn well for me. I'm not sure about him. But no, I'm getting good, you know, finding out what my appetites are and what my body needs. Now we're talking about food, yeah? Everything. One minute to go, guys. Just 60 seconds. Better make it count. You seem very high fashion. I like nice materials on my skin. See, my boxes are made of extremely soft material. Mmm, sounds nice. Do you want to know where they're from? <laughs> You'll go. That wasn't part of the deal. We never made a deal. But come on, hurry up. I'm running out of time. Which supermarket? Not gonna tell you. Oh, such a tease. A lady needs her mystery. And your time is up. Thank you, ladies and gents. Oh, saved by the bell. This time? I want to see you again. What's your handle? How about you give me yours? Games, games. Mm, I just gotta lay out all my suitors. It's at its tie. 25. Oh, jackpot. It's been fun. Can I? Yeah, of course. Thank you. <sighs> Have you been waiting long? No, I've been waiting my whole life for this. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, sorry. Sorry, my, um... I've only just finished work, you see, so it takes me a minute to recalibrate. I get that. <laughs> um, I am a freelance computer engineer. That's what I do. And because of that, my work hours are just all over the place. I like to mess around with coding in my free time. Try and fix problems. Really? 
Do you know about Raspberry Pi? Oh, I've heard of it, but I don't know much about it. Okay, so it's a small computer that you can program for, like, simple projects. For example, I built myself a dashboard for my bicycle. So it shows me my time, my speed, you know, uh, my location, you know, on the route. So a phone without a phone. But more fun. I don't know. It makes me feel like uh, the great creator. God. Steve Jobs. <laughs> So, Lucas, what's your living situation? Do you have any flatmates? I actually live on my own, which, to be honest, I love. Antisocial, though. I don't know if you found this, but as you get older, there's just harder and smaller avenues of making friends, because everyone's already found their clique, you know? So I suppose things like this are amazing for that. If you don't mind me asking, how do you afford to live on your own? Something I was working on just did well, so. And I decided, yeah, I'm gonna get myself a place. I deserve it, and the rest is history. <laughs> what about you? Do you prefer to live on your own or with people? I've tried both. I worked away for a bit and they put me up. Oh, well, that's, yeah, that's a really good way of experiencing being on your own, I suppose. I thought I'd be really scared of living alone, but actually it's the best. I can walk around naked whenever I want. Yeah. Uh... <clears throat> I, I think for me, um, sometimes it can get quite lonely, um, especially if I don't like make plans much. You should make some more plans then. I'm here now, aren't I? You know, I've been looking forward to this all week, and I'm glad I'm here. I get that. The last couple of years have been tough, but I'm grateful that we went through it when we had video calling. Exactly, I mean, and that wouldn't have been possible without technology. It's taking over the world. So are you aware of the synchronicity then? That's when uh, AI will eventually surpass mankind. You know, robots ruling the world and all that. If you could say yes or no to that happening, what would you say? Surely robots already run the world. I mean, like 30% of tasks are done by computers. Exactly, what a statistic. It's exciting, isn't it? You're not scared? No, it's the future, isn't it? So, <laughs> might as well just step into it. I'm terrified. Honestly, you don't. Can you imagine walking into a bar and not being able to tell who's a robot and who's real? I mean, I feel like that anyway, like, <laughs> so, um, oh. yeah. This is your halfway warning, guys. That is three minutes to go, 180 seconds. Couldn't tell you how many minutes seconds. Oh, really? What's, what's the time? You're wearing a watch, yet you still checked your phone. You're right. Um, hands up, I must be a phone addict and a laptop addict and a tablet junkie, so... Oh, yeah. the full set. Mm -hmm. You wondering about me? Yeah. I feel like everyone should be asked on a first date. Why? So you know how distracted someone's going to be when you're trying to talk to them. Mm -hmm. OK, so I am addicted to my phone, but... Here comes the excuse. No, it's a generational thing. I mean, we grew up with our phones. I mean, they're, like, part of us. They're essential tools for our daily routines. I could not agree more. You know, we are just so immersed in technology, people don't even realise it. We are constantly interacting with it, and it goes far beyond just phones. Oh, yeah, I mean, GPS, search engines... My God, I'd be useless without all of that. And take contactless payments, for example. That has completely revolutionised the whole social economics of how we buy things. For example, back a day, you would have to pull out your wallet, get some coins out and pass it to the cashier, whereas I can now just go boop and it's paid for like that. So I'd say these things here are definitely the quickest way. Sorry to interrupt, but we're on the clock, so maybe we should talk about something that isn't technology. Oh, yeah? Sorry. Um, what like? Oh, tell me about your friends. Friends? Uh, well... Well, I'm, I met all my friends online, and they're all from different parts of the world. Hobbies? Just cleaning my workstation cut as a hobby. No, Lucas. One minute to go, guys. One minute. It's your final minute, and then we have to wrap it up. Moving on. This has been an interesting date. Oh, no. I, I, I haven't offended you in anything I've been talking about. No, 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 not at all. I, and I hope I haven't offended you. I, I'm still here, aren't I? I mean, not for much longer. <laughs> we should make the last 60 seconds count. OK. I read somewhere that extroverts deal with these kind of situations a lot better than introverts. So would you say you're more extrovert or introvert? Mm, good question. And you're not allowed to say both. Come on. She, in life, people either favour one side of the spectrum over the other. 
I'm definitely an extrovert. I think I thrive off of meeting new people. So you're a social vampire. But I don't feed on blood, I feed off of human interaction. <laughs> well, I think that'd be an amazing partnership, you know, for me to be with someone outgoing and outspoken. What, so then I can do all the talking? No, it's just that you could help me come out of my shell, you know, even though I like my privacy, and I could be there for you when you want to feel tranquil and calm. <laughs> and your time is up for that day. Gents, your date is awaiting. Don't tell me you enjoyed that. No, I did. <laughs> me too. Stay in touch? Yeah, if you want. Um, my handle is at the band coder. Mm, unique handle. I'll hit you up. Thank you. And um, bye, Misha. Bye. Hey. Hey. <laughs> I'm a hugger. Should, should we hug? I'm oh, yeah, so yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm uh, Jake. Misha, uh, I think I might have crinkled your shirt a bit, but... Uh... Uh, <laughs> no, I, I, I don't think you did. I've, um... Okay, so quick story. My, uh, my grandmother buys me a birthday gift every year and she likes to get me a shirt, and this is a vintage 2013. Mm, no way. Yeah, I'm a teacher and clearly too busy to buy my own clothes. <laughs> so, do you have any um, birthday traditions? Oh, I don't know if I can compete with that shirt. Grandma clearly knows our drip. Hey, she's, uh, she's got good taste. <laughs> I actually do have a tradition. My granddad always buys me a jumper on my birthday. I do love a jumper. Mm, but he's colorblind, so... <laughs> but instead of seeing the colors differently, he sees them all the same. Mm. It's called, um... Tritonomaly. Tritonomaly. <laughs> <laughs> this speed dating business is such, like, an interesting format. Yeah, I think so. I, um... I actually don't get out too often. School's quite full on, so... Summer holidays, though. Exactly. Mm -hmm. You speed dated before? That's a verb. Oh, you're gonna mark me on this day, aren't you? No, I, I wouldn't do that to you. Of course not. Oh. <laughs> I haven't speed dated before. Okay. Just use apps and trying to meet people the old-fashioned way. Yeah, me too. I, um, I don't normally do this type of thing, but I kind of thought, hey, why not enlist the help? Mm. You're investing in your own happiness. I love that for you. Yeah. Yeah, I love that for me too. What is most important to you in a relationship? <laughs> yeah, I'm glad you added <laughs> that last part. I'm not sure we're ready for politics yeah. just yet. Three minutes to go! Three minutes? Well, maybe I'd be so bold to say I'm looking for love. What about you? Okay, was that too much? No, I mean, it's honest. Nothing else, I'm honest. <laughs> Good to know. If I'm honest, I don't really know what I'm looking for. I'm hoping I, I'll sort of know it when I see it. But I think the most intelligent minds are the ones that aren't afraid to admit when they don't know something. How do you mean? Okay, so at school, I've got, like, two types of kids. <laughs> you have the ones who sort of steamroll in and pretend like they know everything. And then you have the ones who aren't afraid to admit when they don't know something. And they definitely advance faster. So you're not a fan of fake it till you make it? Well, I think confidence is good. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I, I think the key is to stay curious. Come on, though, you've got to have a type at least. No, I, I don't think I do. Not even in, like, looks? There's no pattern in your track record? I guess my previous exes have all been brunettes. Personality-wise, is there anything that you're, like, drawn to? I... <sighs> my last ex was quite hard on me. Um, she kind of would say more sort of bad things than nice things to me by the end. So that was quite tough, but, um, yeah. <laughs> she sort of felt like I needed to grow a backbone and I disagree with her a bit more. Um, I don't know. She's... I'm so <sighs> sorry. I've inadvertently made you talk about something that you absolutely do not have to. <laughs> <laughs> no, thank you, Misha. I really appreciate that. I guess, um, I don't know, maybe it sort of taught me key things that I am looking for. So, I guess to go back to your original question, um, kindness is something that I value a lot. So. I think you deserve it. Thanks. One minute to go. 
One minute warning. So what else do you do with yourself, Jake, besides date randoms? <laughs> I, um, I like to read a lot. It's, uh, yeah, it's one of my favourite hobbies. Air quotes, nice. <laughs> I picked up a book in my time. Favourite genre? Oh, finishing with a toughie. Um... Yeah, we could determine our entire future together. Mm, no pressure. Mm. I'm a huge fan of erotic fiction. Really? <laughs> Is that something you're keen on, or...? Uh, I, you know, it's not something that I've tried reading before, but if it's... Hey, if you're into it, I'll give it a go. <laughs> mm, bit of role-play. Do women look for that when they find out that you're a teacher? No. <laughs> no, they don't, actually. I, I wouldn't be into it even if they did. <laughs> and that is time, ladies and gents. OK, well, um, it's over a bit too soon. Mm, it was. Listen, I'd, um, I'd love to be able to contact you. Oh, yeah, um, what's your socials? Uh, I'm not actually on socials. I don't even have a smartphone. Oh, uh, saving I... this news for the end of the day. Nice work. <laughs> Old school. <laughs> I see what you did there. OK. Thanks. All right. I'll call you. Nice to meet you. Bye. For the interview. You've been on holiday. You got that healthy beach glow. Really? Mm, what's a holiday? Oh, sad. I just got back from a stag day. Mm, nice. What did you get up to today? <laughs> uh, just played some father side football with the boys. Yeah, pretty knackered. Oh, I love sport. <laughs> Basketball, tennis. Football? Not really. Oh. I'm just messing. I was actually on my junior female football league at school. No, you weren't. Mm -hmm. I like sports that I can play because it gives me more of an insight. Yeah, I mean, it's like so much better when you know how to do what they're doing. And then you watch the professionals and it's like you're watching art. That's beautiful. I've literally been here five seconds and I'm already chatting waffles. So sorry, <laughs> sorry about that. So, your name? What about it? Well, it's got to be a nickname, right? Well, yeah, everyone needs a nickname. So, what's the story? It's a long story. Condense it? No, it's a long story. Leave it. Oh, don't leave me guessing. Just give me some options. You're an option. So are you. Yeah, fair. <laughs> I promise I won't judge. I'm just really curious. OK, so it all started with an awkward boner. I beg your pardon? OK, look, look, I was 11 and I was on a school adventure trip and I got an awkward boner while I was waiting for my turn to go abseiling. And obviously everyone thought I was, you know... Having a bash. Yeah. And you go by that nickname voluntarily. Well, everyone calls me it, so I don't really have a choice, do I? <laughs> this is your halfway warning, guys. Three minutes to go. I know, it flies, doesn't it? So have you got any nicknames? No, but my name is already sort of a nickname, apparently. It means Michael in Russian. Michael. Mm. I knew someone called Michael once. He nicked my girlfriend in year six. I'm sure she could choose for herself. Can I call you Mike? Yeah. Have you got any real nicknames, then? God, no one's ever asked me about nicknames before. Well, I am honoured to be the first. So come on, I ain't got all night. My mate Ryan calls me Muggy Misha. I apparently mug him off a lot. In the blue corner, the biggest rocket here tonight, Muggy Misha! You practised that in front of the mirror, didn't you? hundred percent. So... Did you do any exercise during lockdown? Oh, seamless. I'm just trying to keep the chat moving forward. Ugh, lockdown. It's dragging up a bit, isn't it? Yeah, it was a weird time, wasn't it? That's all you've got. What was wrong with that? What do you want me to ask you about? Your lockdown sex or your lockdown dog walking or your lockdown shopping or... Ding, 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 we have a winner. Sold to the guy with the average chat. Home call, home call. Some may say he's redeemed himself. What are we doing? What is this? No, no. <laughs> we should stop. We probably should. Let's, let's stop us. <laughs> So that stag do I mentioned, yeah. It was in Turin, in Estonia. Tallinn, Estonia? Yes. Yes, knowledge. <laughs> stag capital of Europe, right? So we had to see what all the hype was about. The second night. Right, 
was an absolute madness, OK? We were all in these morph suits, right? <laughs> and the groom had to wear this mankini. By 5pm, he was absolutely battered. But after a little tactical vomit, we were ready to go to the club. Bash, I'm sure you had a great time, but I really don't think I need to know where this is heading. No, 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 no. It's, a, it's a, like a happy-ish ending. Not like that, no. Let's just talk about something else, shall we? We've got one minute to go, guys. Just one minute. So we'll be wrapping up very soon. Seems like we might be drawing to a close. You sick on me already? Definitely. You seen anyone you like, though? Oh, yeah. Yeah, definitely, yeah. What about you? You didn't answer me properly. What more do you want from me? I don't know, some more detail? Names, maybe? Nope, no names necessary. I may have seen a few hotties. Yeah? All right, show me. Oh, don't be like that. That what? She's trying to make me jealous. Trying. Oh, whatever, man. <laughs> and your time is up for that day. Gents, you'll be moving along to your next table. All right, see you around. <clears throat> nice to meet you.